Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman and I'm the Technical Director for VMware Solutions here at Pure Storage. I'm here with... My name is Craig Waters. I'm the Senior Product Manager for FlashStack, VMware and Microsoft Integrations. So we're here to talk about something called a VVD, a VMware Validated Design. So we've all heard about a CVD, right? That's fairly common, a Cisco Validated Design, but how, how does that compare with a VVD and what is a VVD? Hmm. Good, good analogy there, yeah. So, so with a CVD, typically, what will happen is, is that um, for every reference architecture that's built, we'll kind of select the different components. So it could be like Flash or AX, or it could be um, you know, Cisco's ACI integration or something like that. And then a CVD is built really to show you how to configure and deploy um, that, that kind of reference architecture and how to maintain it. Whereas VVD is a little bit different. So what VVD really is, is it's a framework that really talks about all the software components that make up the software-defined data center. Um, so that's all of, you know, all of all of VMware products like vSphere, vRealize, NSX, all those different products. And it really kind of, the VVD really builds those into a framework that then kind of describes how to design, how to plan, how to deploy, how to configure, and then how to actually operate, operationally manage the the software defined data center over time. So it's a real comprehensive framework and body set of, of, of knowledge, of, you know, of documentation really that covers that. Um, and I guess our involvement in that really is, is that um, we're part of the um, certified partner architecture program. And, and what that means is that um, we can deliver a VMware validated design using uh, pure products, you know, for example, with Flash Array, with Flash Blade, those kind of components. And they're part, you know, they make up the storage components that make up the, you know, software defined data center um, that makes up VVD itself. Yeah. So if I'm a customer and I'm like, I want to deploy a VMware environment, I want to employ vRealize with that. How do I go about using a VVD? What do I do? Do I go to VMware? Do I go to Pure? Yeah, so, so th there's kind of two parts to it. So first of all, typically what you do is th there's a blueprint that's published on the VMware website. So you go to the uh, VMware website, download the blueprint, and then follow the process of building and designing your um, VVD solution, obviously based upon, you know, if you're using Flash Array or Flash Blade, as, as, the, as the pure storage components, and then add in a mix of the VMware components, you know, utilizing the best practices that are described as part of the framework, yeah. What we've, what we've got as well is, is that uh, on VMware's website, there's actually a KB article that discusses how pure storage is involved in the, um, the CPA program and how that relates to the VVD. And there's also a white paper that's been published as well, which kind of goes into more detail of what the, uh, CPA program is, how we're involved, and, and, and what kind of makes up our involvement in VVD. And so does the VVD dictate the size of my environment? Like if I have a, if I want to build a small cloud, a very large one, is, is it customizable? Can I change the components or make the, make more of them? Or what's what's the flexibility around the VVD? Yeah, I mean, it, it's really around a, like a pod-based architecture based upon the different resources you utilize. And so if it's, you know, a management um, resources that you want to, or workloads that you want to run on there, if it's, you know, production systems, if I'm going to do it across multiple sites. So it takes a lot of variables into consideration and it provides best practice and framework around those different use cases. But it's really down, you know, I did say at the beginning, it's like a design and planning component to the VVD as well. So it's really down to the architect or, you know, the, the organization or the company that's actually going and thinking about deploying a VVD to kind of get either you know, either have their internal specialists do it, or you know, you can engage. You know, VMware PSO. You can engage um, other other um, companies that are a part of the CPA program. Um, so that could be someone like Accenture or somebody like that to actually help the customer to go and build out those requirements. So you know, it's, it's a comprehensive framework, but there is some um, effort involved around deciding what the design should look like and how it actually go and build the solution and deploy it and configure it and so on and so forth. And the, the, so a CVD is, seems to be more hardware focused in a way, right? It's obviously Cisco's hardware, mm -hmm. UCS and so forth, yeah, and then yeah. the flash ray underneath it. But of course there are different CVDs for different 
applications on top, yeah, yeah, VMware, yeah. Oracle, and so forth. Now with the VVD, obviously this is more VMware focused, so we're thinking Definitely. software, um, and with Pure in it, that's, there's your storage, but what about the server? If I want to do a different model of server, is that dictated in there, like not the at hardware? All. Not at all, so, so I mean you could use FlashTAC, for example, but equally, you know, if a customer has uh, other vendor server hardware that they're using, if they're standardizing on, that's fine as well, no problems at all. It is really much more focused on the software integration components, so, you know, with our implementation of VBD, for example, you know, you'd use, um, you know, vRealize, you'd use, so our vRealize orchestrator, orchestrator imp, you know, integration work that we've done, you'd use your vRealize operations manner integration that we've done, you use vRealize login site. So all, all the components that make up, you know, the integration work that's been done between pure storage and VMware, they would all be key components that would make up the VBD, yeah. So if I'm a customer and I'm looking to deploy an environment, who would you recommend a VVD too, right? Is this for everyone? Is this is this is it only for large organizations, small organizations? Like, no, I think what kind of customers should look at? I, I mean, this? like, there's you know, there's three delivery methods for a VVD today. One, one is uh, DIY, so you as an end customer go and download the the documentation set, and then you go through that process of you know planning, designing you know, and then building and then implementing, configuring, and then, you know, operationally managing that environment. Similar again, like I said before, you can engage, you know, um, you know VMware PSO, you can engage your preferred partner um, PSO capability to do that. And then also, you know, the last part with that CPA piece, there's, um, you know, there's, there's several, you know, validated partners that you could utilize to do that. So Accenture, exam for example, could be one of those. And they'll, you know, provide that framework and that skill set to actually go and walk you through that process to actually, you know, deliver the solution based upon a VVD design. Yeah. So it's not, you know, like a CVD is kind of often focused on a particular use case. So it could be, you know, VDI, VSI, backup, something like that. Whereas the VVD is really a framework for any application use case. So it's much more around the, the design work and the validation around the infrastructure components from a software perspective, and then whatever application toolkits or application workloads you're gonna run on top of that system. You know? So from a Pure perspective, what, what value does Pure bring to the VVD? The, yeah, well, there's a number of things. I mean, it, you know, a lot of the stuff that I, I can talk about is a very similar talk track to what we talk about a value proposition for you know flash array and flash blade already so you know obviously simplifications are really important piece you know simplifying how storage is being delivered as part of that uh, VMware solution and then again as well you know how, how we do um, life cycle management how we do non disruptive upgrades you know a customer can start with a, a, a small investment and a small implementation and then they can scale that solution without having to revisit how they've designed and built the VVD how they've architected the solution so there, you know there's some key value propositions and obviously you know that's intertwined with things like evergreen um, and, and similarly, you know, like um, where information's been residing on the system. So, you know, we, we might want tier one applications running on Flash Array, and then we might want, a, you know, as part of the solution, design into how applications are being backed up using um, FlashBlade or, you know, what, how we're shipping snapshots, where, what the retention is for those snapshots, those sort of things. It's a big collection of all the existing value proposition that we talk about with Flash Array and FlashBlade it's all relevant to the VVD and, and how we bring value to the VVD overall and how we can simplify the implementation and operational management of VVD. I think that's kind of the important bit with VVD is it's not just about how do I build something, how do I deploy something, it's also about the design. So what requirement, what, what business requirements am I fulfilling with the design of a VVD all the way through to operationally you know, that simplification and how that impacts operationally, how a customer day-to-day -day manages the environment, you yeah? So all that integration that we have, so VROPS, VRealize Orchestrator, yeah. Definitely. Web Client Plugin, VVols, right, all slides right Everything, into it. Everything, anything, any touch point that we have today that uh, interfaces with VMware on whatever level, all the way down to VVols, whatever it might be, that's all inclusive and all part and parcel of the VVD. But, but at the same time, it's, it's down to the, the overall design as to what components the customer ends up utilizing. You know, is there value in me, you know, as a customer utilizing Login Site, or is there value in me utilizing Virilize Orchestrator, whatever meets the customer requirement. But the beauty is, is that we've got, you know, a real feature 
um, rich set of integrations. So it's really down to the customer to pick and choose what, what's value to them and what, what complements you to their design. Yeah, and the really nice thing about the VVD, right, is that it does have all the pieces, right? So you, you don't accidentally miss, oh, uh, I, I forgot to build a reporting infrastructure or what's my orchestration layer. It's all available for you. There's nice integration from a pure to a VMware perspective, so it's kind of a nice reference architecture to get started when building your own yeah. private cloud. Definitely, exactly, yeah. So if I need more information, if I'm a customer, I want to look into the VVD, I want to deploy it, where would you recommend I start? So, um, so the VMware uh, website's got a dedicated page for the uh, VBD, and what we've also done is, is we've produced a knowledge-based article that actually talks about our integration and what version of VVD we've started to be involved in. And, and, and then also we've got a white paper out at the moment that includes what the value proposition for pure storage is integration into the VVD. Yeah? Well, thanks, Greg. That was really helpful. I really clarified what the VVD is and, um, and how, how it can help our customers um, deploy VMware in pure environments. So if you want for more information, um, there's some links provided along with this video. Of course, go to purestorage.com. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah.